Yeah, what up, people? I'm not afraid to take a stand, baby. It's your boy, Jay Ezo. Yeah, what up, people? How you doing? It's your boy, Jay Ezo. Uh, I'm glad to see you again. It's been a while. Yeah? Uh, like you all know before, this is the... This used to be a workout channel before, S Pro Boxer channel, yeah? Because I did boxing for a living. So after life after sport, so I felt like uh I should start doing a workout, especially indoors for those that can't afford to go to the gym. And I actually started this channel back when the COVID was written really hard, when everything was shut down. So I was doing a YouTube channel at home, workout for indoors. But however, along the road, uh something happened. I got into a car accident. I was uh Badly damaged, yeah, but I have gone through all of physicality training, physiotherapies, and all of that. So I'm getting better gradually, gradually. But however, uh, I'm not going to be able to continue uh, the fitness training on this channel. So I want to turn it to a talk show channel. So it's basically going to be J Talk Show, yeah. So that's what it's going to be. And uh, for those of you who have followed me for a while, I want to say thank you. For those that have subscribed, thank you. And uh, please share more of this video. More content are going to be coming out on the talk show and uh, reality. And uh, we're going to speak about things happening around the world and stuff like that, yeah? But anyway, uh, let's go straight to the point, yeah? So I wanted to talk about, uh, uh, like you all know, I'm from Africa. I was born in Nigeria some 40 some years ago. But I'm glad to say I'm Canadian, okay? I've lived in Canada for over 22 years. So I'm proud to say I'm a Canadian. I live pretty much half part of my life or not even half in Nigeria where I was born and I've lived in Canada now for over 22 years so definitely I'm more a Canadian than a Nigerian although I was born in Nigeria but as you can still say I'm proud African yeah so this is what has been happening like you all know for those that have been following the the world news uh the vice president of the United States Kamala Harris or whatever her name is she visited three states in Africa and Ghana, uh, Zim Zambia, and Uganda. And her mission was basically to go there and impose, impose that belief on us. And that is gay and lesbian, LBGT+. People sicken the brain, yeah? Them sicken the brain, seriously. Okay, let me start with Africa. Okay, I come from a polygamous home. Polygamous in Africa is a way of life. It's not a taboo. If you're a Muslim, you're allowed to marry four wives. It's not a sin. It's not a taboo. Some people have got married to four wives. And guess what? They're living happily in the same house, in the big compound. Because we build, comp we build houses in the same compound, big yard. And if you have four or five wives, they're all living together with the kids. The kids know their siblings and happy family. I come from a polygamous home. My dad has 11 children, basically four wives, maybe. Yeah, so, and uh, my great-grandfather, my grandfather all have four, three wives, so my family is big. So if you know my last name, you can literally check any person that bears the same last name with me on Facebook anyway. That person is related to me somehow, my cousin. It's not a sin, it's not a taboo, even in the Bible. You gotta love them equally. If you marry two, three wives, you gotta love them equally. You gotta treat them with respect. It's not a sin or a taboo in the Bible. But in the, in the Bible, God condemns gays and lesbians. God condemns it. Yeah? I mean, it's funny though, knowing fully that these same called politicians, yeah, just because they wanted to get a vote, they are willing to give out the word of God to rub it on the ground. Okay? These same called politicians, they will swore, they sworn an oath, they sworn an oath of staff, with the Bible or the Quran. In the Bible, they know, categorically, God condemns gays and lesbians. God casts them off. Although they've been there right from the existence, but God cast them off. But there was nowhere in the Bible that God calls people who have two or three wives. But America would choose to pass a law to allow a man to marry a man, a woman to marry a woman. It's a law. They call it human right. I don't think it's human right. I think it's animal's right. People sick in the brain. Yeah? Yesterday. Okay, now, the vice president of the United States went to Africa. She started 
three days tour with, uh, with Ghana, and she went to the parliament in Ghana. So basically, she was just there to tell them the agenda. You know how they like to bully other people in the world, in the country, in the houses. Okay, we are we're gonna invest one hundred million dollar in Ghana, but here is D. The, they always give you America, United States, or the so-called Western country. They will never give you financial aid without asking for something. They are willing to invest one hundred million dollar in Ghana, but here is the D. Ghana has to approve the lesbian and gay right. Hmm, wait a minute. So the Ghanaian parliament, like, this is an insult. You don't believe in our culture. You don't believe in our tradition. You don't believe the people's mindset right. Ghana has a population of over 33, almost 35 million people, yeah? So within Ghana, realistically, okay, if you have to ask people to go for referendum vote, I'm not sure you're going to count 1 million people who are lesbian and gay in Ghana. So just because of 1 million people, you want all that 34 million to give out that right and believe and pass a law that will favor 1 million people. So what about the rest 34 million people that doesn't want it, that sees it as a taboo, a curse, and which it is? Okay, like I said, I've lived in Canada for over 22 years. Okay, it's part of the system in Canada. You can never discriminate against lesbian and gay. I stick by my... I stayed on my lane. Nigerian would say, stay in your lane. I stayed on my lane. Do I like it? No, I don't like it. Do I hate the humans? I don't hate the human. God created them. They're all humans like us. But I hate the spirit that is possessing them to make them believe that it's okay for a man to marry a man and for a woman to marry a woman. No, it's not okay. You know? So the Ghanaian parliament are about to pass a law right now. So with that annoying mindset, the parliament in Uganda passed a law, so drastic law, that if you are caught as a lesbian and a gay, you either be sentenced to life or a death penalty. And also the people from Zambia has also passed a law. Because we look at it like it's a curse, it's a taboo. We look at it like people trying to bully other people. How dare you? Maybe, our leaders in Africa, our government, our president in Africa should start coming to this Western war and also bring to them and say, here, listen, we're going to invest $200 million in your country, but please allow people who believe in polygamous to marry two or three wives as long as they can afford it. Maybe, but you cannot dare that. But they want to bring their own dirty lineage to Africa. I think it's, it's a cause. It's disrespecting that you don't respect other people's culture, other people's belief and value as a human being. Yeah, we have African culture. But however, Islamic and Christianity find its way to Africa. Slowly and steadily, Africa culture is beginning to go down the rail. But however, it's still pretty strong. People still practice it, people still believe in it. Yeah, I come from a polygamy zone. Part of people in my family are Muslim and Christian and African traditionalists, whatever. Yeah, so it's part of our system. But Christianity has really grown. And in the same Bible that the Christians are using to preach, in that same Bible that the Western are brought to us, the Jewish, okay, the British, the so-called Western are brought Christianity to Africa. In that same Bible, it's there where God hates and condemns lesbian and gay. And guess what? In that same Bible and the Quran, these politicians, during when they're taking the staff of office, they're old, they're sworn with the Bible. Just like here right now in Canada, I believe in every part of the world, if you're going to the court or if you have to be sworn the staff of oath to the office, they will ask you, are you a Christian or Muslim? So depending on your faith, and they will give you a Bible or a Quran to swear with. And they know what is in the Bible. They know the content of the Bible, but the politicians don't care. They would rather throw what is in the Bible out to favor few individuals who are sick in the mind just to gain vote. Unfortunately, our brother, the former president of the United States, Barack Obama, was the first American president ever in the world to legalize the marriage of gays and lesbians. Yeah? So right now, in the United States, they have the population of over 360 million um, 350 precisely to 360 million. I bet you the population of gays and lesbians is not up to 
maybe five million. So you're telling me just because of five million people, the rest of 240 million have to give their right and believe and their faith to favor five million people. Or in Ghana, that has about 33, 35 million, the gays and lesbians over there, the population is not up to 1%, maybe 2%, I mean 2 million. So basically, you're going to tell me, just because of 2 million people in Ghana who believe in gays and lesbians, the other 33 million have to give their right, that belief, that tradition, that faith, to give their right to other people. Come on, man. I think it's annoying. I think it's disrespectful. Yeah? How I wish Americans can go to Iraq or North Korea to prove, to go pass this same message that bring it to Africa. But they can't. I'm not sure why they are just looking downward on Africa. And I don't blame them because why? Our leaders in Africa have failed in every shape or form. Yeah? They have failed. They are incompetent to speak, to defend their land. Africa has gotten her freedom. Every state in Africa has gotten their freedom. So we are independent. We got our freedom. But why are they still imposing their rules and laws on us? Whether we can go there. Imagine offering Ghana $100 million to invest, but with condition attached to it, to want to believe we get lesbian and gay, right? How about if a politician in Ghana, I bet you, there are rich people in Ghana, Nigeria, we have millionaires, we're counting them, but they're corrupt and thieves. One person in Nigeria or in Ghana can offer America $200 million and say, okay, here's the deal. How about if we invest $200 million in your country, please pass a law that will allow an African man who comes to live in your country to be able to marry two or three wives if he choose to, because it's part of our system too in Africa. But we couldn't do that because we believe once you're in Rome, do what according to Romans are doing. And when you're back to Africa, out of an African, we respect people here. We respect the culture of every country that we come to live. We all left Africa for greener pastures to the better countries today because our system in Africa is corrupt. Our government are corrupt. They are all thief. They have stolen from Africa. The Western have stolen from Africa. The Western have stolen from Africa for over 400 years, slavery and everything. But guess what? Africa is still strong in stand. Literally, the whole resources today, the world is using it from Africa. Congo is the richest country in, in Africa, and that is why you see for over 20 years, they have been fighting in Congo. Why? Because people are sponsoring talks and here and there to cause confusion in between them. Because the place that is fight, people are not going to be thinking of how to grow. They're always thinking of how to defend themselves. Why the thieves are keep stealing their diamonds and resources. It's sad. We need a united Africa. One army, one strong country, one currency, one Africa. I mean, people just come in to take advantage. Every day and alley, we just come to Africa and... This is an insult. Yeah? Like I said, even within the United States, okay, United States is about how many population? 35? 350 million to 360 million. Maybe 5 million are gays and lesbians. Other people hate them. They don't even want to. During that parade here in Canada, the white Canadian are even stoning them. Police have to arrest them. Oh, human right, human right. Lord have mercy. I think the so-called Western country have to stay in that lane. Like Nigerian would say, stay on your lane. Stay in your lane and stop going other people's lane. Africans are not going to leave that country and come here to tell you what we do in Africa. You have to put into a curriculum or your system. No, we don't do that. So why are you going to go to Africa and want to impose your LBGTL plus gay, lesbian right? It's not a human right, an animal's right. I bet you, let's do some experiment. I want you to go get an animal. Two males, anima, either cocks or goat, put two male animals in the same cage and find out what will happen. They're going to be fighting themselves because they are not meant to be together. And we are humans. We supersede these animals under us. So I guess some animals are even wiser than some humans. 
It's disgusting. It's gross. Even having a man staring at a man's heart or having a feeling for a man, a woman having a feeling for a woman. People sick in the brain. I just think so. People are sick in the brain. But I don't blame them because some group of government who claim to be politicians are supporting them. Yeah. Why can't people just live their life truly? Let people live their life. You want to be a gay, you want to be a lesbian, fine. If I feel I want to marry two wives, three wives, fine. Why are you going to put a law that would not allow me to marry two or three wives I feel like I want to do, but now you're going to put a law that allows a man to marry a man, a woman to marry a woman. Isn't that sickening? Yes, I think it's sickening. It's disgusting. It is. But anyway, I'm not here to take it personally. I just wanted to share this view so that you all can see what is going on in the world, how some people are just trying to bully other people, irrespective of their world, military powers, bombs and ammunition or whatever they have. But I think they need to respect other people's culture, belief and traditions. We are humans. We are created by God. God owns the earth. I've never seen American creating human beings. God created heaven and earth and created humans. Yeah? But anyway, I'm just saying it the way it is. I'm keeping it real. It's your boy Jay Ezo. I'm the presenter of Talk Show TV. Big up.